And today we begin the first of three videos on tremendous tips that will save you a bunch of time on Excel 2016. These tips are so cool, you'll want to watch every video. So please subscribe to our channel and receive them automatically. Ever forget the meaning of the result from a formula you created? Or forget the reason you created the formula in the first place? Forgetting happens, especially when you're working with many different formulas over time. The obvious solution is to add a comment to the formula that helps you remember the meaning of the result or why you created it. To do this, you can place your cursor in the cell where you want your comment to appear. Then right-click on your mouse and select Insert a Comment. Then write your comment and hover your mouse over the upper right corner of the cell whenever you want to read your reminder. Or you can save time with tip number one, which is place your cursor at the end of the formula. Write a plus sign plus the letter N and an open parentheses, and then write your comment in quotation marks. Then type a close parentheses and press enter and you're done. Now your comment is part of the formula and will appear every time you select the cell. And your comment won't affect your formula at all. How boring and time consuming is it when you have to write the same text in several cells one cell at a time? Avoid the boredom and save time by using tip number two. Press Shift and select the cells you want using the arrow tabs. Then write the text you want. In this case, the text is the word sales. Now press Control plus Enter and just like that the job is done. Do you remember what happens when you press Delete to erase a cell? The text deletes but then you must take additional steps to delete the format like color and borders. Tip number three gives you a faster and simpler way to erase a cell. Simply place your cursor on the cell, then go in the Home tab and scroll to the right end of the ribbon and click the down arrow of Clear. Then click Clear All and that's it. The entire cell is erased. Are these Excel 2016 tips helpful or what? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to practice using these tips, just hit the download button below and you'll be taken to the same we use where you can practice. There are more tips coming in this video, so keep watching. Also, please remember to subscribe to our channel and we'll notify you when we upload our next tip videos. To add filters, you can select the cells you want to filter and then go in the Data tab. Scroll right and click on Filter. Then click the arrow in the column headers to filter the data. Or you can save time by using our tremendous tip number four. Simply place your cursor in any cell inside your table, then press Control plus Shift plus the letter L to activate filters for your use. And if you want to delete the filters, press Control plus Shift plus L again, and the filters are gone. One way to add columns or rows is to place your cursor on the top of the column or in the gray part at the beginning of the row, then right-click the mouse and select Insert. Yes, you'll have to do this every time you want to add a row or column. Or you can use our fabulous tip number five. By putting your cursor on the top of your column or at the beginning of the row, you then just simply press Control plus. If you want to remove a complete column or row, just simply press Control minus. So far, you have five tremendous time-saving tips using Excel 2016. And more tips are coming. To practice these tips, just hit the download button below in the video description. Practice leads to mastery, 
and to more efficient use of your time. If you liked this video, please remember to comment, share it, and hit the like button. Be sure to check out part two of our tips videos and help us by subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.